Today we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the $90 Runcam Thumb Pro versus the Caddx Walnut. Stay tuned to the end because the results might surprise you. If you didn't catch my first impressions and unboxing video of the Caddx Walnut, I'll put a link in the description and on the screen. Some of my opinions on the Caddx Walnut may change with the future firmware update as I have a very early production unit. Later in this video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two cameras, but can you tell which one's which? Let's start by taking a look at some of the advantages the Caddx Walnut has over the Runcam Thumb Pro. First off, the Walnut has a built-in 600 milliamp hour battery. It's also IP64 waterproof and has a larger 150 degree field of view. It also has a 100 megabit per second bit rate and it allows you to preview your image via Wi-Fi connectivity. Now let's take a look at some of the advantages the Runcam Thumb Pro has. The image quality, in my opinion, is better on this camera, even though it's around a 50 megabit per second bit rate. The weight is obviously a huge advantage, coming in at only 16 grams. This camera is also only $90, and that includes two ND filters, and one of the biggest perks to me is the flat color profile. It allows you to color grade this in post-production. Right now, the Walnut does not have this profile. Now it's time to dive into the side by side image comparison. The image on the left is from the Runcam Thumb Pro, and the right side is the Caddx Walnut. You'll notice the field of view is much larger. My biggest complaint about the Caddx Walnut at this time is the lack of options in the app. You can't set the contrast, the saturation, or even add a flat color profile. I find the Walnut to be oversaturated and it has a little bit too much contrast. During my first look video at the Caddx Walnut, I set my sharpness down to low. I usually set contrast, sharpness, and saturation to low on all of my action cameras and add this in post-production. But for some reason, when you lower the sharpness on the Caddx Walnut, it actually lowers the detail and makes it look really soft and out of focus. So for this test, I actually set the sharpness on high and it made a big difference. Although the Runcam Thumb Pro is only 50 megabits per second, if you pause the video, you'll notice much more detail in the grass on the left side. Keeping in mind that these are both budget, cheap action cameras, they both actually look pretty good. But I definitely have to give the win to the Runcam Thumb Pro for having the flat color profile. This allows for a lot more room in post-production to color grade and get a better result. So which camera is right for you? If you're looking to save weight and size, the Runcam Thumb Pro is a no-brainer. I also think with a little bit of work, you can actually get a better image out of the Runcam Thumb Pro as well. Now keep in mind, this is an early firmware on the Caddx Walnut, so they may make improvements to the image quality. And on the other side of the spectrum, if you're looking for a camera that may be a little bit more durable, is waterproof, and has a built-in battery, the Caddx Walnut is gonna be the right choice for you. Both of these clips were stabilized with GyroFlow and they both did a really great job. And because I know you're going to want to see the unedited footage, this is raw, unstabilized, uncolor corrected footage from the Caddx Walnut. And this is the raw footage from the Runcam Thumb Pro. This is in the flat color profile, so it probably doesn't look as appealing, but it gives you much more room to color grade and end up with better looking results in the end. And for a final comparison, I'm going to show you two different clips. This was filmed with the Runcam Thumb Pro using the flat color profile, manually color graded using Final Cut Pro, and stabilized with gyro flow. The next clip I'm going to show you what the Caddx Walnut looks like under the same conditions. This is footage filmed with the Caddx Walnut. Of course, there's no flat color profile as I mentioned, so this is all filmed in the standard profile using the automatic white balance and locking in the shutter and the ISO. This is with the sharpness level on high, filmed in a 16 by nine aspect ratio in 4K 60 frames per second. Depending on the features you're looking for in a camera, I think either one of these would make a great budget level option for you. This is obviously not going to be a GoPro replacement, but for most people who just want to bash it around and don't want to worry about losing the camera, I think either one is going to be a great choice. GoPro has announced they are going to be coming out with a GoPro Session 6, which is going to be a great form factor everybody's been waiting for. It's going to be the same size and shape as this camera, but I'm sure it's going to cost a 
lot, more than this camera does. I'm seeing a range of prices on the Cadex Walnut between $150 and $180. I ended up picking up mine on AliExpress for $150. I truly want to thank you guys for sticking around till the end of the video. I do lots of camera tutorials, bind and fly drones, and tips and tricks on how to get more cinematic footage out of your FPV drone. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a thumbs up as it will really help the channel grow. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.